Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back again to Shay's Hobby Dog Bay. <laughs> this is a Dollar Tree haul, y'all. Ah, I'm so excited. This is a big Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> I did something I ain't never done before in a way and then in another way I did something that I ain't done in a long time. <laughs> I went to Dollar Tree and I spent me some money and it even made her be a little upset but he didn't throw too big of a fit. <laughs> Because <laughs> of the way I presented it to him. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So, enough of that. <laughs> we are going to get into this Dollar Tree haul and see what all I got. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to... I've kind of got it categorized in the products. All the same type products together. And then the ones that I want to show first and so on. So, the first set, category that I'm going to show is for me personally, for crafting and hobbies and stuff like that. Okay. So, I picked up this 300-piece puzzle. I guess that means 300 pieces. It's showing 300 there. It's Crazy Art Puzzle Bug 300 Piece Puzzle. Yes, it says it right there. And this is the actual size of the pieces right here. And look at that picture. I love that picture. So pretty. So I got that. I like to put puzzles together. I don't put very many of them together. My husband loves to put puzzles together, and so does my daughter. Me and my husband hardly ever has anything in common. We hardly ever do anything together. We go our own separate ways and do our own thing. Because what he likes, I don't like. What I like, he don't like. So I am trying to think. Even so, he probably ain't going to want to put this together with me. But I'm just thinking, if I can do puzzles, which is something he likes, I like it too. Maybe we can sit at the table together and put a puzzle together and talk. Who knows? But I doubt it. Anyway, I've seen some, some people. I'm not going to remember who because I watch a lot of videos and all of them does hauls, poetry hauls and hauls, all this stuff. But <clears throat> they've been hauling the key cover. See the key? It shows a picture of the key. So it goes over the top of your key. And I'm not really a llama person, but out of what else they had there, this is what I liked the best. They had mermaids. I'm not into mermaid. They had a little, some kind of fish with a horn on it. So a mermaid fish? I don't know, but it looked like a little whale fish. I wasn't into that. I can't remember what else. It seemed like that was all they had. So I went with the llama. So I got that. I'm going to put that on my key. Okay. Then, of course, I could not go to Dollar Tree without getting my baby girl something to enjoy and have fun with with her. So, oh my goodness, this child, she loves Poppy. Now, for you that don't know what or who Poppy is, it's a cartoon. And she loves watching it. And they sing on it. And she knows that song by heart. And she will sing right along with it. You may not be able to understand. Because I can't understand everything she's saying. Because she can't really talk that plain yet, you know. And there's some things. I'm, I'm pretty good at, you know, being around her and getting used to her words and how she talks and does. I know pretty much everything she says. But there is. A few times that she says some things and sometimes I never get it and then sometimes it takes me a while to get it and I'll even tell her I'll say baby girl granny 
they can't quite tell what you're saying. See, she's only three years old for my new ones out there that don't know how old my granddaughter is. And I will say the stuff that it sounded to me like she's saying. I'll say, did you say? And I'll say what it sounded like. And she'll say, you know, it's, I can tell she kind of gets a little... I wouldn't just say upset with me that I can't don't know what she's saying. She understands. I think she understands. Because I'll say, I'm sorry, baby, but Granny just can't quite tell what you're saying. But I'll keep asking her, and I'll keep thinking, now, what did it say? I'll have her to say it again so I can hear. And I'll say, now, what did that sound like? And then I'll tell her what I think it sound like. And sometimes I can finally get it after a while, but then sometimes I can't. So when I can't, I usually call her mama and put her on speaker, and I'll say, Mama, can you tell me what the baby's saying? And I'll tell Gracie to tell her mama, and she does. And, and sometimes Katie don't even know what she's saying, but sometimes she does, and she'll tell me what she's saying. So anyway, she loves Poppy. This is going to be a long video, y'all. Oh, my word. I wouldn't be surprised if it's an hour long. <laughs> okay. Y'all know me. When I get to talking, I can't shut up, especially about my baby girl. <laughs> she loves Poppy. She watches it. She sings with them. Oh, it's so cute. Y'all should see when she sings. And when she sings, she gets into her singing. Mm-hmm. All right. I got her a poppy book. I read it to her all the time. I almost know it by heart. <laughs> okay, so I've seen these. It's a magic towel. Um, I've gotten these before for my kids when they were little. Sorry, I'm setting my camera back up a little bit. It slipped down, and my hand got in the way there. But... It's a magic towel. It's one of them that is folded up and scrunched up, and it's in a circle. And she loves circles. The ones I used to get my kids was squares, but these were circles. But that is Poppy. So all you'll do is put this in some warm water, and it loosens it up, and the rag starts unfolding, or the towel they call it. It's probably just a little square rag. And she'll love seeing that unfold, and then she'll have her a Poppy rag. She's going to love that. Okay. I I keep moving the table. Sorry. Let me see. I, there's, yeah. I'm trying to find the other thing I got her. I got her something else. All right. So I seen this, and I couldn't pass it up. It's called I'm So Jiggly Squishy Toy. So that's what it shows, and this is what it looks like. So, I just thought I would get her that little thing to play with, too. Okay. I got me two packs of batteries because I've been needing some. I had some, and I got this thing that needs them, but I don't think I've even showed that to y'all before, but I may have. It's a light, a pink light that I got, but it takes batteries, and I, I pulled my batteries out to put in it, and they were burnt. I had to throw them away that white powdery stuff was starting to come out of them and stuff so uh i picked me up two packs because i can't remember if it takes three or four and this was only three in there so i picked up two packs of that all right then i got me some hooks to hang on the wall to hang stuff on because uh i got some things i want to hang up i probably won't use these until i can start moving into my craft room. I'm hoping that's going to be soon. Albert's been working on Elizabeth's house a lot uh, yesterday and today. And uh, I'm hoping soon. I don't have no date on it yet, but even like what they're hoping and looking for. But I'm hoping soon. And uh, I'll get to move into my craft room and then I can do stuff on the wall with these. But I also got these. <coughs> Please don't fall out. Okay, so I got these over-the-door hooks. Okay? To uh, also hang up on the door. I'm going to do it on my bathroom door in there. Because I have... I hauled here a while back from Dollar Tree. The, it's school pouches, but they hang up. And I got two of them. Will y'all sit back up and stop scooting down? I mean it. I'm trying to show y'all my stuff here that I bought at Dollar Tree. Behave. Sit still. <laughs> okay. So, I've put my paints and stuff in those pouches. 
And I want to get them hung up. Now I guess I've got it too tall. There we go. My head was cut off. But, uh, so I got these. I've got the shoe pouch hanging on the bedroom door, looking out into the living room with other stuff in it. They're two big, deep pockets. But these over here are smaller ones for my little bottles of paint. And I've got all that in there. I just need to hang them up. So I got these. I'm going to put these on my bathroom door in there and hang those up. But of course, when I move into my craft room, I'll move all that in there. Okay. All right. People's been hauling this forever, and I have wanted one. And I have even went other times to Dollar Tree and looked, and they didn't have them. Today, I looked, and lo and behold, they had them. So I grabbed me one. <laughs> it's one of the cute little garbage cans. Now, I could use this to hold some kind of little crafty thing in. But as of right now, I've got lots of containers, and I don't know what to put in what. Until I can get in my room and get it all spread it out real good and start organizing, then I can do that. But, excuse me. Excuse me. But, I was thinking that maybe, because I keep my garbage can under my table over there, but lately when I craft, if it's a small thing, I sit here and do it. If it's big and needed spreading out, I get on my dining table back here. And I usually forget to get my garbage can. And then I'm having, and I like to throw things away as I do it. I don't like making a big mess in front of me. I work and craft and keep things going neat. But I thought maybe I could set this with me when I'm crafting, if I don't forget to get this thing and bring it with me, to put all my little paper trash in, you know, when I'm through with it as I'm crafting. Or I also thought of this because one lady that hauled this said that she was thinking about putting it in her car to put the trash in in her car to help keep her car clean. And you know, our car does get dirty and I have tried the grocery bag and hanging it on the knob or something on the dashboard and putting trash in it, but then it gets big and full and it's in the way. So I may consider doing that. I'm just not quite sure yet what and how. I only got one. So I'm not quite sure how I wanna do that yet. Okay, all of this stuff I'm getting is because I see other people haul this stuff, y'all, and they say and show what they're going to use it for, and it makes me want it and want to use it for that. So it's all of y'all's fault that I watch. <laughs> but I found these cute little packs. Now, packs, zipper bags, okay? <laughs> They're see-through. Now, this one has cute pictures on it of the cactuses. I love the cactuses. So, I couldn't pass that one up and had to get it. And it's kind of small. But, I like that it's see-through and I like that it's got the, the ring binder holes in it. I have rings that I can put on these and put them all together. One lady is doing that, had did that and put rings on it and kept them together. And then, she's storing little paper crooks. Papy, 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 papy. I can't talk, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited about this haul. I can't talk. I'm a speed talking here. <laughs> the little paper cutout crafts and things that she has. But the ideal I got when she showed that and told that, I want to put them together. So these are bigger and they're clear. You know, you can see through them. So a green one. Okay, let me lay it down as I show you. A gray one. I got one of every color they got. A purple one. A blue one. And then the a while back I had hauled. It's over there in my thing. I got one, possibly two more over there. But when I had gotten that one, that was all I'd seen at that point in time. And it may be even a little different. It may not be just like these. But anyway, I want to put these together. Put my rings on them. And I'm going to let that be like a little journal book. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some decorating. And I know I said I was tired of paper stuff. And I still am. And I'm still working on my kits and doing all this other stuff. But I am thinking about other things like this that I want to do. And y'all know me. I bought it today. And I plan to do this. But I, who knows, I may not get around to doing this until a year from now. You know, that's how I do. But I will do it one day. But I can put... So I can get some decorative paper 
put it in, just slip it in here. I don't have to glue it in there, just slip it in there. But I can decorate that paper up and have a journal spot and all pretty light that I could put a picture on it and journal and just stick it down in here, okay? And with it being see-through, well, especially on this side, I can leave this side kind of like blank so you can just see the the cactuses but then on this side this side looks clear and uh so you could see the page through there okay and you could turn it then i would pick you know i would measure the page to fit in here exactly you would see the decorated page and when i wanted to put a picture on it when i wanted a journal on it all i gotta do is unzip it and slip that out and do it slip it back in zip it up and then it's on the ring binder and i can do one for front and back of every one and then that would be a little journal booklet that I would have to open up and look and you would see you just looking through here you would see the pretty pages and the pictures and the journaling that's on it that's what I want to do so that's one two three four five that I got here plus the one or two over there that would be six or seven that's that be a nice little booklet there okay so then the last crafty personal thing for me is I got one of these buckets that has a handle. I've got several ideals for this. I'm not sure just yet what I want to do with it. I'm thinking either refrigerator for stuff in it or the pantry for stuff in it or I could use it for crafty stuff. Uh, I kind of wanted to get one that would fit in my drawer in there but this one's too deep to fit in my drawer so I can't do that. I'll have to wait and find a small one for that. So Okay, now let me get all this stuff back in here. That is my crafty stuff. Okay, and for my baby girl. Oh, so let me put these back in here and get that out of the way. Okay, oh, now the next category that I'm going to show you is things that I got for our house our home that we have been needing for ages and i am sick and tired of going without and doing with such little and such old things i just i just stepped out there and i bought some stuff so there you go all right first thing we were running low on toilet paper they usually get the toilet paper and they get it somewhere else and they get a big old pack that has a whole bunch in it. But I'm thinking, I'm always having to tell them, we're low on toilet paper, we need to get some toilet paper. And when I say that, no matter what it is I'm saying we're out of, I get back in return. Oh my God, always need something, always need something, always gotta spend money, always gotta spend money. I'm sick and tired of hearing it. He can grumble about me spending the money. But I'm going to go get the stuff I need. So, I picked up a pack of toilet paper. Is it Dollar Tree? It's a dollar. Now, I don't shop. I don't know how much toilet paper costs is out there at Walmart or Family Dollar or Dollar General. I don't know. I would think that it would be more than a dollar. But who knows? It may be less than a dollar there. I don't know. But I'm thinking this would be cheaper. I don't know how good this toilet paper is. Matter of fact, they had... Uh, oh my word, what in the world, if that don't be, uh, y'all are not going to believe this, Oh well, I only have one roll of toilet paper. I had gotten two, but it's two different. I think it's two different. It may not be. Strong and soft. Bath tissue, this one says. Regular rolls, Scott Comfort Plus. When I picked that up, I knew that felt kind of damp. These top ones, these bottom ones are saturated. I don't know what happened. I had gotten a bottle of soap, and it was in the bag with that. And now that bottle is empty. It's all right here in this toilet paper. Whatever. 
but anyway, I thought I'd pick up two, and we could try both and see which one was the best. And may, may not neither one be any good, and I may not need to get any more toilet paper there. I don't know, but I wanted to try it. Okay, we need washcloths in our bathroom. We got probably five. Okay, and those are so old. They're tearing, they're ripping, they got strings hanging from them. They're dingy, they're dirty, they're stained up, they look gross. I'm tired of it. So, I got a pack of two rags for the bathroom. And I also, now this was in the kitchen part, and it's probably meant to be a kitchen rag, but I'm going to use it in the bathroom, because we need bathroom rags more than we, we're good on kitchen rags. So, Two more, two white ones. So that's four new bathroom rags. All right, now for the kitchen, like I said, we're good on kitchen rags. I didn't get rags for the kitchen, but, and we do have more, excuse me, kitchen towels than we do bathroom towels, but they're old, dingy, strings hanging from them, stained up, dirty, holes in them. I'm tired of it. We need more. So I got, this says, wake up and smell the coffee. So I got that one. And people's been hauling what they call, and on the video I can't really tell what it looks like because they don't show it up close enough for me to, but they've been calling them potato sack hand towels that they've been getting at their Dollar Trees. I wanted so bad to find some of them. Every time I've went and looked, my Dollar Tree don't have those kind. This is not what they're talking about. For Look at that, that's cotton. That's not potato sack material is that it can't be so anyway i got this one it says the best things in life aren't things so i got that one for the kitchen and then like those plain rags for the bathroom i got a plain it's called a bar mop chiffon but it looks like one folded hand towel so i got our kitchen some hand towels and i got our bathroom some rags we need hand towels in the bathroom, too. Well, that'll be my next trip to Dollar Tree. Okay. <clears throat> now, this other, the bag the soap was in, and that other toilet paper. Oh, goodness. This was also in there with it. We're out of garbage bags, and instead of telling Hubby and letting him fuss about it and get them, I'd put it upon myself to get them myself. So... Uh, but it's soaking wet. See there? Do you reckon these garbage bags will still be okay being plastic to use in there after that got soap spilt all over it? Y'all let me know, okay? What y'all think about that? And then the... Let me get it. I don't know what happened. Look! The whole bottle! I wanted this hand soap by the sink in the bathroom to use. I prefer to use this kind instead of bars of soap. Now, my husband is old-fashioned all the way with everything, honey. Oh, my Lord. Put your hands on my husband and help him and change him. Help me to deal with it, Lord. Mm. Y'all just don't know what I have to go through anyway. So, Elizabeth has been getting hand soap like this. But we had run out. So I took it upon myself to get, you know, a bottle and put by the sink. And she can get some more later another time too. Well, it's gone. I don't know what happened. But it was, it's called, if I'm saying it's Claire or Clar and Danver. Foaming hand wash, cleanses and moisturizes. Fresh scent was the scent. All right, can y'all see that? I don't know if I pronounced it right. But look, the whole, what happened? Did it, okay, that is loose. Did it leak out like that? Why didn't, why and how did it get loose? Or was a hole punch, punctured in it? I mean, the whole thing went out.
out, soaked that toilet paper, and soaked the box of garbage bags. Oh my word. Oh well. I got soap on my hands. Lucky I got a little bit of toilet paper here. I had for my nose. <laughs> so let me see if I can wipe this off my hands now. Okay, so that's the house category of things that we needed and I wanted it to get. Make sure there's not any soap on that chair. Now the next category is for me personally, but it's it's for me to have something to eat. It's also for me to have fun doing a different kind of video for y'all on here than what I normally do. Well, let me show you this first. This happens to be in there too. Okay, I had gotten one of these a while back and I've been using it and I have loved it. It's my cup, the new green cup with the white lid. Instead of drinking out of that bottle I used to drink out of, I let Gracie drink out of that. She don't do a cup anymore. Her mama used to bring a cup all the time when she'd bring her. She don't bring nothing. So I just fix her water in that bottle and she uses that bottle here. All right. But, and I may have mentioned this, y'all. The other day, a little while back, I had my cup full of tea. Not tea. Why do I, I've done that two or three times now saying tea. And I don't drink tea anymore my peach mango water i had it full of my peach mango water so she was trying we was trying to move and get set over here at our tray and it was on the table bless her heart she picked it up she was gonna bring it over here it was a little too heavy it slipped out of her hand and she dropped it well it opened and spilled the drink out so we cleaned that up but the dropping of it see the inside is white and then it has a cover over the outside but it's like it's stuck it's glued there but when she dropped it that made that come loose and you can even shake it and hear it rattle now and so that's loose in there and that bothers me I don't like that so I picked me up another one it's a different color and it says a different thing but here you go red is not normally my color Y'all know me, I prefer purple and pink, but they didn't have a purple and a pink one. They didn't have any more of the lime greens. I would have gone and got that kind to, again. But they didn't, so I got red. And it says, the leaves are falling, so autumn is calling. So, see, it has the lid. It opens, see this white part? So, on the inside, it's kind of glued to that. But when she dropped it... It didn't come undone enough that this part is not undone. It's still attached. But it made the inside come undone enough that that rattles in there. And you feel movement and hear the rattle even when I pick it up to drink. And that just bothers me. I just don't like it. So, I got me another one. Yeah, get it on there. Alright, so that's that. Now, this other... And I may not have all the stuff to do it, so I'm probably going to have to go back to Dollar Tree to get two more items for it to fully be what I'm wanting it to be. So this is for a video I want to make. Y'all will see that video. When, when y'all hear me say that, you will remember, well, when you, you'll see this after that. So when you see this, you'll remember that I said that and you'll know all about it then. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to show you the stuff, okay? Okay. Y'all know me. <laughs> I like to keep secrets from you. like to keep you guessing. <laughs> all right. Homestyle Baking Golden Home Bakery Products since 1937. Bakes ultra crispy, ultra thin pizza crust, ready to top one ultra thin crust made with honey and you know I didn't it says great on the grill I didn't think to check them all I thought they were all the same so I don't know if this made with honey and then maybe if they had others it was made with something else I didn't notice that I didn't pay that well attention you pick the toppings leave the crust to us so it's in a pack like this it was on the counter. It was not in the freezer. 
So there you go. And then they also right there by it had this box of pepperonis. So it's caramel. It's a two pouches, ready to eat, pepperoni original, makes one great pizza. So, but I believe I need <laughs> some kind of the red sauce to put on here, whatever that's called, pizza sauce, or it may just be tomato sauce. I don't know. I'll, I've seen the videos. I've seen other people make videos making this. I will go back and see what all they used, and I know shredded cheese, of course. And then, y'all know me. I'm going to want to get me some mushrooms to put on it, and I'm going to want some black olives on it. Mm, uh-huh. So, i got to go back and get some more stuff before I can actually make this. But I will be making this and tasting it in a video sometime or another. So that didn't really keep y'all guessing much there, did it? <laughs> Alright, so that's that category. Now, whew, I told y'all this was going to be a long video. I'm trying to get it back in the bag. How long have we gone? 31 minutes and something now. Alright, let me lay this back over here. And the last category is also going to be another video that I do for y'all. And I am really excited about this one. Look how big and heavy this thing is. Oh, my word. Okay. I hope none of this has leaked out. Oh, my God. If it does, I will be upset. All right now, y'all. I told y'all about that. Behave yourselves. Don't tell me you're getting tired of me yakking at you now. And seeing the good stuff I got and the fun stuff I got at Dollar Tree. You need to stop that playing around, quit falling. Behave and set up first so you can see what I got. You heard me? <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> I have wanted to do this for so long. I watch videos all the time of people doing this. And I am finally going to get to do this. And I'm going to get more and do more too. So, I'm going to make a video. It's going to be a separate video from this. Of a Dollar Tree taste test. So, y'all be looking forward to that. Now, I've got plenty of videos lined up. I have got a video, a long video that I'm going to be putting up tonight while I'm sleeping. Tomorrow, I got a short video up. I mean, a short video I think I can put up during the day. And then I have made another video today that I want to put up tomorrow also. It's kind of short. Maybe I can get both of them up. And tomorrow is Saturday. This is Friday. Then... I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is the next video that I've made today. I've made two videos so far today. So this video, then, I would need to put up. It's a very long one. So Saturday night while I'm sleeping, I'll put this one up. Then Sunday, maybe I can put up this next video that I want to make, which is the Dollar Tree taste test. So I got me several things to taste. And I'm going to do it on video for y'all. Dollar Tree taste test. All right. This is... If I pronounce these right, taste more, great tasting, crisp peas, oven baked rice crisps, caramel, and I love caramel. So I'm going to be tasting this for y'all. On the back, I have to kind of watch what I, I'm, I'm not a diabetic yet, but I'm borderline and they have put me on some medicine for that. And she's told me to watch. And she's told me to watch my sugars and everything I eat. And to keep it low. So it's better if I am 5 and below or even really lower than that. But I do go up. Like this one here, the total sugars is 8. Now I'm confused. on. I need to ask her about that. I don't know. Because it has two different numbers. It says total sugars... And then it says, per serving, 8 grams. Okay, maybe that explains it. Some of them don't explain it. Per container, 21 grams. So for the whole thing, it's 21 for a serving. And it says a serving, 
says 110 there, let's see about 2.5 servings per container. Serving size is one ounce. So, 110. 110, is that what that means? Of these things is one serving? I don't know. It says one ounce. I don't understand that. But for a serving, it's eight grams. So I want to show y'all if I can get it right. See my finger? I can't read backwards and it's little. Hang on. Total sugars. So it's right above my finger. Total sugars. And y'all see the number? It's eight for a serving. And then 21 for the whole bag. So I do that. I watch that. Now, for this taste test, I have gotten some things that's even higher. Okay. So that's for the taste test. I also got, I've never had these before, so I'm going to be trying. All right, I've never had these before. This is one that's going to go higher. <laughs> so this is Munch Rice. Um, apple cinnamon flavored baked puffs. O M G. Hmm. No, that was dietary fiber one. But you know what? It's not that bad. Wow. I expected that to be more. Does this say? sugar-free or low or anything low fat or something i don't know down here all these signs this says zero gram trans fats gluten-free no nuts kosher kosher whatever that means no msg i don't know what that means either and vegan 140 calories six gram total fat Three gram sugars. See there? This is total sugars is three. Then it's got includes three gram added sugars. And out beside that it says six percent. See that's where I start not understanding it. So total sugars three grams. Under that, and I can't read it backwards, but y'all just heard me say it, and if y'all can see that, y'all can read it, and it's got six percent here. So, that's what I mean where I don't understand sometimes about the added stuff and all that. But this is going to, I've never tried this before. Taste test. Alright. Here is something else I've never tried before. I might have should have made this a separate video. This is really 37 minutes long. I don't care. So, this is called Crispy Coconut Rolls Plus Roasted Black Sesame Seeds made with real coconut milk tropical fields light crisp and made with delicious natural ingredients each roll is tropical bliss so i've never had this before and i'm going to be trying this whoa they expect me to read that look how little that is holy cow sugars seven grams but then it's got includes. <laughs> I didn't read that. Something other, something other sugar is 10%. Oh, see if y'all can read that. Can y'all read that? It ain't even focusing. Come on, focus. Focus. It ain't gonna focus. But anyway seven it's not too too bad okay <clears throat> this is gonna really help me figure out something for my new subbies y'all there's something on my glasses hang on for my new subbies and i've got quite a few new subbies lately thank every one of y'all debbie unleashed subbed to me mommy and kimberly subbed to me um, I think, um, uh, Creative Chica Hall subbed to me, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Crafty Girls Vlogs subbed to me. 
and then the lady I joined her um, giveaway and won the gift, won the prize. Uh, by the way, that was that last video I did, and I said I would let y'all know. I couldn't remember because I did the video opening up that winnings package that I got. That's the long one that I'm going to put up tonight while I'm sleeping. So, her channel name is This Lady Loves Crafting. So, and she subbed to me. So, thank all of y'all so very much. I appreciate it. This is helping my channel grow. I love it. Keep it coming. Keep up the good work. Give me them thumbs up likes and subscribe and leave me comments. Oh, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, for the new subbies, a while back, long while back, several years ago before we moved in this house, we lived in a trailer that we was renting. Okay. Every year through my whole life growing up, Thanksgiving, Christmas time, my mama always got me bought, the store bought eggnog. I love me some eggnog. Always have, ever since I was a little kid. It never bothered me. When we lived in that trailer, it was around Christmas time. I got me some eggnog and I drunk it. My lips started getting raw, breaking out, cracking, itching, even around my lips here on my face. It was spreading, it was rough, it was itchy, it was sore. And at first, I didn't know what it was. I, I was, I did not, you know, I just thought at first the way it started that my lips was chapped. So I started putting chapstick on but it wasn't helping. And I do Blistic. Not, is it called Blistic? It's the bees. Beeswax. Chapstick, that's what I do. It's not Blistic. Where'd that come from? It's the beeswax chapstick is what I love to use. So, and I've used that for a lot and it don't bother me. So I, I kept putting that on. It didn't help and it was getting worse and it was spreading. I didn't know what it was at first. And then I got me another glass of the eggnog and so it got worse and I don't know what made me think but I had just drunk that and then I got to thinking oh no what if it's this eggnog that's breaking me out and doing this to me it means I'm allergic to it why I've been able to drink this all my life I didn't know it was I started to say barks that's root beer <laughs> Borden. It was Borden brand. And I couldn't remember the other brands I'd been getting. I couldn't remember what Mama got. I asked her. I can't even remember now if she knowed or remembered or what she said. Because I didn't know if maybe a different brand was it a brand I had never had before and would it be that that would do that? Oh my lord. I'm, I'm, I'm so sick about being allergic to eggnog now oh, I love eggnog we have a nurse that goes to our church so I asked her I showed her my lips and I told her that I was drinking eggnog and I asked her about that I said but I have drunk it all my life I love it it's never bothered me before until then she said it's probably that she said that sometimes things can after a while or you know after going through your whole life doing it then it can start you know, reacting and you being allergic to it. And I was like, oh, no. So, I ain't got any more eggnog since and drunk it, and I miss it so terribly bad. But, years after that, we moved into this house. Now, it's been a while back since this happened. I went to Dollar Tree, and I bought some stuff, and I decided I wanted to try one of their chapsticks they had. It was a coconut chapstick. I brought it home and I started using it. My lips started doing the exact same thing. My face was breaking out again, just like it did when I had drunk that eggnog. And I got to thinking about that. And I, I, got, I said to myself, 
is there coconut in eggnog? And I didn't know anything about it. And it may be. Coconut may be one of the ingredients in eggnog. I don't know. But I have gotten pina colada snowballs before, too. That's got coconut in it. I've even did, when I would get a snowball, I would even get the extra pina colada cream that they can squirt on it. Because I loved that. Now, I don't like... Even when I was a kid, Mama would fix desserts and she would put coconut, the little, the white, what do you call that, flakes of coconut, strips. I don't like those. I never had liked those. I would always have her not put that in my part of the dessert. I don't like that. So, <clears throat> but I think that's a texture thing. I love, hang on. <coughs> Boy, I'm going to need something to drink after this. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I might need to get a cough drop. Whew. I love the coconut taste. I just don't like those coconut flakes. I think that's a texture thing. So I stay away from those. I always have all my life. But now I love that taste, and I have done the pina colada cream and snowball and stuff like that. So I like that. And before, nothing ever broke me out and hurt me. But when I realized that, I stopped using that coconut chapstick, my face cleared up, and my lips cleared up, just like it did when I stopped drinking the eggnog. So, I still don't know. I want y'all to tell me in the comments below, do y'all know if eggnog does have coconut in it? And, this is coconut. I want to try it. I do like it. And this will right here be like a test. It will help me to know for sure. So when I try this, and if I start breaking out again like that, that's going to let me know for sure that I am allergic to coconut, to stay away from coconut. But then, if that's the case, y'all let me know in the comments what you think about this. Is there any eggnog out there that don't have coconut in it? If so, maybe I can find me some of that and go back to having my eggnog again as long as it don't have coconut in it. Y'all let me know. I hope that's the case. I hope eggnog does not have coconut in it. Some of it, anyway. I know that one did. So, anyway. Alright. I'm going to wait before I show y'all these items. These are not items that I have not tried before. I've had these before. I love them, and I just wanted them, so I got them. So this is not part of the taste test. All right. This right here is. So I got, it's called TGI Fridays. Potato skins, snacks, cheddar, and bacon. And they look so good, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to taste these. So this is part of the taste test video. Oh, I wanted to dietary, no, not dietary, that's dietary fiber. Total sugars is one. Includes zero gram added sugars, zero percent. I wish some of y'all would explain that to me. What does that mean when it goes on to say that like that? But anyway, so there you go. That's the snacks for the taste test. Now, I got some drinks for the taste test. I've been wanting to do these. That is so pretty. I'm probably going to take this paper off and use it to craft with. <clears throat> I love that. Alright. People has been hauling these and they've been taste testing them. It made me want to. And because this is so pretty. Alright. It's called Arizona, an American company. Green tea with ginseng. Do I say that right? and honey so I'm going to taste test that if I don't like it I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it cuz tea drinks like this even like y'all know my water flavorings I get this is not sitting right my water flavorings I get that um uh, it's peach mango well they have one that is peach mango tea I've tried it before. 
I don't like it with that tea taste in it. So I have a feeling I'm not going to like this. But I still wanted to do it on the taste test. So if I don't like this, Albert's not going to drink this. Elizabeth don't mind tasting drinks like this. I'm trying it to see if she likes it. So I'm hoping that she will like it and will finish drinking it. Since it is quite a big bottle. How many ounces is it? Let's see. 34 fluid ounces. Okay. So there's that one. Alright. Then I got... And that's pretty too. So I'll probably use that one too. Arizona. All natural. Muncho mango. I like my peach mango drink. So I should like this one. Fruit juice cocktail. Now y'all, I'm funny. I grab these. I kind of think they're not alcoholic. But I'm always, I don't know nothing much about all these drinks like that. So especially if it says cocktail, I think, is that alcohol in there? You know. And I don't do that. I don't drink that stuff. And this has got, woo! I don't care. I'm still gonna taste it. 25 grams of sugar. I only need to like sip a little bit of it, not drink much at one time. If I like it, I'm just gonna have to take little shots of it every day, I guess, maybe, or something like that. Anyway, but I'm excited to try that. Alright. Alright, one more. Arizona. All natural flavor. Watermelon. Fruit juice cocktail. And it's it's 23 sugars, so it ain't got as much as that other one. Did I look at the tea one? I can't remember. It probably don't, but I'm going to have to. That ingredients is too little. I should have done it for a bottom, but I, but I kind of feel like it don't have alcohol in them. But I'm going to, before I actually drink it, I'm going to read those ingredients too, if it has any alcohol in it. All right. Now, so that's all of the taste test stuff. But I got three items here that I have done eight and tried. Oh, hang on real quick. The tea one. Let me look. 17 grams of sugar in the tea one. Hmm. Cause it's tea, I guess. All right. I've had these before and I love them and I wanted some. So I got it. Harvest Snaps, Snap Pea Crisps. Um gluten-free original green pea crisps baked lightly salted 40 percent less fat good source of fiber low sodium sodium however you say that compared to regular potato chips okay back here it says sugars is three grams so i got that all right these others is not helping at all but I had I've been good. I haven't been getting sweets like I used to. So I just felt like I can do a little bit, you know. Spread it out. Oh wow, this has got zero sugars. Okay, it says right on the front, for, uh, sugar free. Okay. Well, that's good. But it's Chico sticks. Oh yeah, I have always loved me some. Uh oh, just realized there's coconut in this. It's been a long time since I've had any, but I have always loved Chico sticks, and got them as a kid. Remember the long ones you used to buy? Mmm, it's got coconut in it. <sighs> Y'all pray this don't break me out. <laughs> And then I just really had to do it. I love me some M&M's and I ain't had me no M&M's in a long time. So this is called milk chocolate made with real milk chocolate, M&M's, chocolate candies, uh, fun size. It's six little fun small pack size of the M&M's. And it may be the regular size, it feel, they feel awfully small, so it may be the minis, it don't say minis that I can see of on here anywhere. But as long as I eat one little pack, or maybe even not the whole pack at one time, I should be good. 
So there you go. That is my haul, y'all. I've enjoyed it. I've been excited about it. We have, we're at 55 minutes, almost an hour long video. I told y'all it was going to end up being an hour long. Oh my Lord, I hope y'all have enjoyed this. I am so excited about this. I cannot wait to do the taste test. And guess what? As soon as I cut this off, I'm fixing to make the taste test video. I can't wait to try these out for y'all. Oh, it's going to be so fun. Don't get uh, looking forward to that. Y'all got that coming to you. All right, guys, that's all I have for now. I need to get off of this thing. Been too long, too long, too long. Yeah. But I love it. And I'm having fun. Yes. Okay. I'm out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm gone. Toodaloo.